Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be covering how to fix a recent issue that has been arising where Bluetooth is not shown in Action Center on Windows 10. So several users are reporting that they are unable to disable or enable Bluetooth from Action Center. So to start with that first method, we have to add Bluetooth to Quick Actions. To do that, simply open up a notification and actions menu. And for that, we have to press Windows key plus R so that run dialogs box is open and then enter ms dash settings colon notifications and press enter so this would open up the notification in action menu uh, of the settings app now here go to quick actions and then click on add or remove quick action so from here make sure that the toggle associated with bluetooth is set to on so once the bluetooth action is re-enabled open the action center and you could notice the bluetooth button visible right there if that was the issue in your case so in case this is not resolving our issue you can try an alternative method which is to open the run dialog and then type in ms dash settings colon bluetooth like before and press enter so once you're there simply scroll down and click related settings and then move on to more bluetooth options so inside bluetooth settings go to options tab and check the box associated with show the bluetooth icon in notification area now simply click apply and this should resolve the issue as well so now in the method 2 we'll be verifying if your computer has bluetooth functionality or not so to do that we'll be heading over to the device manager and and see if there is any bluetooth related uh, configurations in there so simply click uh, windows key along with r to open up the run dialog and enter dev mg mt dot msc like this so this would open up the device manager now here simply find out any bluetooth related entries if, if there is no entry so that means that your pc is not equipped with bluetooth and you would need the bluetooth dongle in order to make that visible now in the third step to resolve this issue we can run that bluetooth troubleshooter what it would do is it would automatically try to find out issues with bluetooth and it would fix them if it finds out any possible solution to that. So to run the Bluetooth troubleshooter, simply hit Windows key along with R. That would open up the run dialog once again and type in ms settings colon troubleshoot and hit enter. So this would open up the troubleshooting tab of the settings app. Scroll down to find and fix other problem. Choose Bluetooth here and then click on the run the troubleshooter. So once the troubleshooter has done its investigation, it would resolve the issues. If there's any repair strategies, it would have. Hopefully this would solve out the issue or you can move on to the next step. So the solution number four involves updating each Bluetooth device. We'll open up the device manager and update every single Bluetooth entry or driver there manually. So open up the run dialog by hitting windows key plus r and type in devmgmt.msc now find out the bluetooth drop down here and update every single uh, driver here manually and to make sure that you're not missing out on any uh, particular entry you can go to view and make sure that a box associated with show hidden items is also checked so that you are seeing all the entries there so once you click the update driver you can now click on search automatically for updated driver software and wait for the process to complete so once all the entries are updated you can restart your computer and hopefully this will solve the issue now moving on to the solution number five which is to enabling the bluetooth support service another possible scenario could be that the bluetooth icon remains invisible in action center if bluetooth service is disabled from the services screen so we'll try to manually toggle the startup service for bluetooth so hit windows key along with r that would open up the run dialog once again and type in services.msc uh, go for bluetooth service here and right click that so here once you see it double click on it go to the general tab and set the startup type to automatic then click apply and that would save the changes now restart your computer and your bluetooth icon should be visible inside the action center now the sixth solution to this is to disable the fast startup which has actually resolved the issue for a lot of users as well. So hit Windows key along with R, opening up the run dialog, enter ms dash settings colon power sleep. Now here, once you get to the power and sleep menu, scroll down to the related settings menu and click on the additional power settings. From the power option menu, click on choose what the power buttons do. And inside the system settings menu, start by clicking on change settings that are currently unavailable. Now uncheck the box associated with turn on fast startup and click on save changes. Now restart your PC and see if the Bluetooth icon is visible or not. So hopefully one of these solutions would have worked out for you. Make sure that you guys hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. 
and we will see you in the next one take care bye